I am Lois Wernicke, and when I was young and living here, I was Lois Kilmer, and I grew up at Jimtown and went to school there my 12 years, and then World War II came. So that's how I got acquainted with Khan Instruments. I would ride a bicycle from there to an apartment that I had with uh, a friend of mine. Twelve hour days. Yeah, I think we started at seven and went to seven. But they had transformed their uh, instrument to the compasses that the Navy used. And I was employed by Con to inspect the, na the Navy compasses. They made a handheld compass that was you could hold in your hand, and we as the inspectors were taught to twirl it and then watch a light to see if there were any debris in the liquid. If there was none, we put it up on one shelf. If there was a little bit, we put it on the next shelf. If there was a whole lot, then that went back to manufacturing and they redid it. I don't remember what I started at, but it was less than a dollar, way less than a dollar. My very first job out of high school was 10 cents an hour. That was nipping threads uh, at a sewing factory. So, uh, but I would guess 50 cents to 75, somewhere around there, I would say. Of course, the first that I was acquainted with con instruments were because our little uh, high school out of Jimtown uh, used con instruments in their band. And so I first tried the French horn, unsuccessfully. <laughs> I did much better job at uh, doing compasses than I did at making noise. <laughs>